shooting for, man. I told you I was going to give you the diamonds. Hello and welcome to Hillbilly DVD Reviews. Today we're going to be taking a look at the classic late 90s action comedy, Money Talks. Money Talks is the last R-rated Chris Tucker movie. Stars Chris Tucker, Charlie Sheen. Kind of typical buddy team up action comedy. Plot revolves around Charlie Sheen being an investigator reporter for a fucking local news station in LA. Goes down to this car wash for Chris Tucker's like running all this backdoor shit, fucking stolen merchandise, VCRs, whatever the fuck out of the back of this car wash. He tries to get Chris Tucker to do an interview for TV. Chris Tucker blows him off because he's got to go scout some fucking Dodger tickets or some shit. So next thing you know, asshole Charlie Sheen turns him into the cops, gets his ass busted. He goes off to the fucking jail. So Chris Tucker's in jail trying not to get ass raped. He's got motherfuckers putting their hands all over him and shit. He gets put on a bus transporting. Unfortunately, he gets handcuffed to some fucking nasty French motherfucker wearing a bunch of eyeliner and shit. So next thing you know, they're going down to the fucking road on the bus. There's a big intervention. All these fucking guys that come in. They blow the bus half up. They shoot the prisoners. They shoot the fucking prison guards, helicopters, everything, man. You know, to bust this guy out because he's a big time international fucking smuggling thief. So they get him out, but they got to take Chris Tucker out because they're handcuffed and shit, of course. So they get him up in a helicopter. Chris Tucker overhears these guys talking about how they got 15 million dollars worth of diamonds hidden in a fucking old Jaguar that's going to be auctioned off at the Auto Expo. They go to kill Chris Tucker, but he jumps out of a fucking helicopter, lands in a fucking river. Fucking asshole cops as usual. They fucking blame everything on the black man, so they put Chris Tucker's picture all over television. Next thing you know, he's known as a fucking cop killer and all this shit. Every cop in the city's trying to shoot him. The only thing he can do is try to clear his name. Goes to fucking Charlie Sheen. Hey man, you're the reporter. Report some shit. Investigate some shit. Help me get out of this shit, man! So basically the rest of the movie, they're trying to clear Chris Tucker's name. They're trying to get the cops to focus on the real fucking criminals, the French motherfuckers. But the cops don't want to hear it and shit because, you know, they, they don't know what's going on. They just want to get the easy fucking bust. Typical lazy ass cops, I swear. Chris Tucker fucks up the French motherfuckers getting the Jaguar back. He gets the Jaguar. He fucking drives it out of there. He gets the diamonds. So basically the movie ends up with a big action climax with fucking Chris Tucker fucking playing the French motherfuckers against some gangsters that he owes some money to and then like all kinds of motherfuckers show up big shootout at the end at the fucking LA Coliseum some crooked cops get involved this movie's just hitting on all centers Chris Tucker is funny like he doesn't try to be a badass in the movie in fact the whole time whenever he's getting shoot at getting chased that man he's screaming like a little bitch you really don't see that movies that plus cause like I said it was already Chris Tucker was cussing up a motherfucker storm and of course he was way funnier that way than he ever was in the PG-13 rush hours and all that shit Charlie Sheen gives a real good performance here you know him and Chris Tucker have a great energy together Charlie Sheen's got good comic timing this is you know he's not all burnout like he is now on fucking anger management always fucking oh yeah right, what, wow, right. you know he's really playing a real human being <laughs> reacting to what's going on doing some cool shit movie was directed by Brett Ratner fucking everybody hates him now but this was like his first big film he did a great job the action the comedy everything the buddy fucking you know relationship going on the fact that they hate each other but then they kind of become friends money talks really showcasing the best of Chris Tucker Fucking everybody else is pretty good in it, man. Got good direction, good action, fucking funny comedy. For this type of popcorn movie, man, it don't get much better. I gotta give Money Talks 8.5 out of 10. Picture and sound, this being a DVD, of course, this movie's not out on Blu-ray yet. This came out on DVD a long time ago, so you can tell the picture sometimes, especially in the faraway scenes, it kind of has that blurry like fucking washed out look you know but I was really surprised on some of the close-ups and shit they, it really did show some good facial detail and stuff sound wise it actually has a really good soundtrack there's a lot of times you hear sirens and shit and gunshots all around the room they really did it good with the mixing effects and the quality of the sounds actually sounded decent for DVD not fucking bad at all I want to give picture and sound quality 7 out of 10 now special features you know this is back in the early days of DVD when they didn't really know what people wanted and shit so they try to give you special features, but they kind of shit the bed. There's like all these fucking actor biographies and shit on here. And like you can read all about their early career. And then for Chris Tucker, they have two like extra clips on there from other New Line movies he was in. Charlie Sheen. They have like a little scene he was in for another movie. So that's kind of an interesting feature you don't see anymore to be able to see a little clip of these people in other movies. I wish more DVDs would do that. But unfortunately, there's not much else there. There's a theatrical trailer. I guess Brett Ratner didn't want to get off his ass and do a commentary or anything. Special features, I gotta give it fucking low, man. I gotta go 3 out of 10 on this. 
So that's it for Money Talks, man. You gotta see this for fucking probably the best Chris Tucker performance ever. I know a lot of fucking people, you know, they don't like Chris Tucker. They just think he's a guy who screams all the time and all that shit. Well, that's kind of his comedic persona, but if you see him actually in a really good movie where shit works and shit's hitting and ain't just kind of like shit being thrown up against the wall like spaghetti, you're going to appreciate his talent much more. And fucking also appreciate Charlie Sheen, man. Like before he was all cracked out and shit, he was a pretty good fucking leading man. Just a really great movie to eat popcorn to, drink beer to, and just fucking chuckle it up with your friends and shit. Money talks.